Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel and episode 11 in my mystery quilt for 2022. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I am um, not teaching myself how to quilt at this point, but I am doing a refresher course and there's nothing better than to do a simple quilt. And to me, the queen of simple quilts is Pat Sloan. I am doing Sweet Dreams. This is a mystery quilt by Pat Sloan. I'll put all the information down below. It is free. All you have to do is go on the website and click on the Sweet Dreams quilt and you print every week a new template, so a new um, instruction for a specific block. Every week is a different block and at the end of 18 weeks, we have a full quilt and then you're on your own for quilting it, okay? But we're just assembling and piecing right now. Um, today I am doing Sweet Fudge. This is block 11. This is what it looks like and you can see this is kind of like a border and it's actually super easy to make. It's nine patches blocks with um, big rectangles in the background color. You can do whatever color you want. As you know, I am doing the colors of the rainbow, so each one of my block is going to be a different color, and I am echoing the colors that are in the center medallion. I hope you continue to enjoy these videos. I have to tell you, I love making them, I love showing you how to quilt, and it is my understanding that it's inspiring a lot of people to quilt as well, so that couldn't make me any happier. This is actually going to be a short video, because the block itself is really really simple this is like the basics of quilting making a nine patch um, I'm going to cut my fabric first and then I'll show you how I make it and that would be it I'll see you in a bit So here are my color combos for Sweet Fudge and you need to make eight, nine patch. So I have these two blues here and this one is a repeat. This purple here, those two are repeats. Uh, this one, the yellow is new. These are repeats, these are repeat. This one is a repeat, not that one. The hot pink, this one is a repeat, this one is not, and these two greens here are repeats. And in between each nine patch, we have a large uh, rectangle. So I'm gonna show you how to do a nine patch, and then I gotta assemble all of them, and next thing you know, we'll have two large borders. And here we go, nine patch. Okay, uh, well, let's start with this one. And it's fairly easy. 
I mean, this is basic, basic quilting, but there's a lot of them, so it's going to take some time. Hence the reason why I'm doing this ahead of time. So, uh, you're going to place those like this. So you get five in a dark color and you get four in a light color. And you can swap them if you want to do the dark color as four and you want to do the light color as five. That's fine. You're basically making checkers. Okay. All right. Pretty easy, right? So we're going to do one row after the other. This one, this one, and then this one. And right side to right side, quarter of an inch seam. Right side to right side, quarter of an inch seam. You do that for all three rows. And then once you're done, this row gets put on top of this one, quarter of an inch seam, and then this one gets put on top of that one at a quarter of inch seam. So let's go. So that gives you three rows, okay, and I'm going to show you how to iron them. So let's put them back together like this. All right, so the top row we press out. The middle row, we press in. And the bottom row, we press out. And when you do that, it allows you to have nice seams, nice and flat. it is. Let's look at the seams. They look pretty good. So all you got to do is press it and then it has to be trimmed to six and a half by six and a half. So this is my first nine patch. Checking the seams here and I'm going to show you the back of it. If you remember we pressed the one on top pressed out, the one at the bottom we pressed out and the one in the middle we pressed in. And this is what it looks like on the back. You don't have anything that's folded or puckering. It's just falling in place nice and flat. I have seven more to do. So when I come back, I'm assembling them and it's supposed to be four on top, four at the bottom. And each one of them has a rectangle like this next to it. So it's an alternate between those white rectangles and a nine patch. Okay. 
Okay, so basically what happens here is that we got two rows. One row goes on top of the uh, medallion we already did, and then this is the bottom row. And you can pick your colors whichever way you want. So this is going to be the top row. Let me show you real quick. All right, it's going to look like this. And then this one here at the bottom is going to be the bottom row. And it's going to look something like this. All right, I don't know if you can envision it. All right, so pretty easy. This one to this one, 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 to that one. Make a big band and then attach it to the top of the quilt. And same thing with the bottom. They are all at a quarter of an inch seam. So I had to move upstairs because it's too big for me to um, film downstairs, at least for the table. But here goes block number 11, sweet fudge. You tell me down below what you think. I like it very much. Um, there's another border, like the blue one, that goes all around this one. And then everything else after that is big blocks, uh, two by twos, I think. Uh, well, two of each, and I think they're ten and a half by ten and a half. So we have seven more blocks to go. That's actually 14 more to make that will go all around for this beautiful quilt, and I love it. Wow, wow, wow! Look at that! Okay, I really like the top row. Top row, favorite so far. Bottom row is really good, but I kind of didn't think too much and I have the two yellow and I just said that about it but that's all right and then the hot pink uh, this blue is okay but I love the brown so here we go this is the bottom row and the top row next week I understand that we're doing the same border than you see here the blue one I'm going to do that all around and we start making the big blocks that go all around the quilt and those are by two so each time we get a new set of instructions we're making two blocks not just one two the same pattern but different colors so again I will echo the colors that I already have um, this is a really really fun quilt it's easy to make if you are brand new to quilting this is not going to be intimidating. I think anybody can actually get their hands on this. And I think I'm giving you tips here and there that are helping you getting your points um, and you know, not get frustrated. Please don't get frustrated. Quilting is not that difficult. It's the actual quilting that gets a little bit more frustrating because it's bulky. And if you do it on your domestic machine, it could be um, a challenge. Some people send their quilts away to a long arm quilter. Um, you got to pay for that service and of course your quilt top comes out beautiful. I haven't done it yet. Um, I prefer to quilt mine because I just, it's just my preference. But you know, if you want to send it out to get quilted, that's fine too. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. And check me out on Instagram and Facebook at My Great Challenge, merchandise, um, apparel at my great challenge gift and of course my favorite Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy where you can find all sorts of vintage finds and um, antiques and whatnot. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!
Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!